Good morning folks and welcome to the channel. Today, it's a beautiful October morning today. It's about 60 degrees out here and uh, slated to be about 80 or something today. So we figured it's a good day, it's a Saturday. Kyle's come over and uh, he's gonna help me wrestle the tank out of this white scrambler. And we're gonna see if we can figure out where my fuel leak's coming from. So. Uh, I'll uh, get all the stuff ready to go on this. We'll set you up on a time lapse and probably just lower it down and then pressurize the whole system. See if we can see what we're up against before we just drop the whole tank clear out of there. 33 gallon tank and there's about, I don't know, 28 gallons of fuel in it. So I figured I was gonna need another set of hands for this because that's gonna be pretty heavy and to wrestle that tank, that's a big old tank wrestle it back up in there and stuff's gonna be fun so not looking forward to this but necessary evil can't have a fuel leak on this guy so let's get going on that and see what we find all right we got the scrambler in the backyard we got a wheel chocked we got the transmission jack out here with a couple of creepers so all we need is, you know, half the toolbox laying on the floor there next to it. And, uh, and Kyle. <laughs> and we'll get going on this thing. So it's funny how much preparation goes into this YouTube stuff that you've got to have all your tools ready to go and things thought through and whatnot before you turn this camera on. So um, I think we're about ready here. Get you guys on a time lapse and uh, we'll sort out lowering this down and pressurizing the system. tank is down finally and like I said it's almost full we've got yeah let's do that see the cracks in that vent hose I'm sure that you can see it all the way around over there that's nasty yeah I'm sure that's part of our problem and then we've got some that, clamps that clamp could have slid down a little bit slid more. down I don't see any other than that I'm gonna go pressurize it up maybe I'll leave you guys right here so you can hear Kyle scream when things catch fire and stuff. No, we're good. <laughs> Don't want to burn this down. No, we ain't burning this scrambler down. All right, right there. I'm gonna go pressurize the system by turning the key. Yeah. Smeller. It could be our filler neck that's off too, but yeah. that's definitely one of our problems right there, for sure. But I don't see anything major. Like I was worried about it leaking at the at the O-ring here or the sending unit, right? But I don't see anything like that. So it's really that still could be from the the vapors coming out of the, the tank itself. Right. But, uh, yeah, I think we reposition that clamp or maybe even slide another one on that. Double clamp that. Because I'm not. Just have to pull that one. That is. Put another clamp on it. Yeah. 
because I think that's the pressure side that I did from under the Jeep last time when I was smelling fuel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's as good as I could get it. Because yeah, you can working with the tank in place. So we're gonna re replace this guy for sure, and we're gonna reposition a clamp on that, and then we'll revisit it for smells. All right, let's get on that. Okay, this tank has two vents on it, one there and one there. And I just had them looped. And then we have another vent here that comes off of there, which is the rollover valve. You guys can see that. Which goes up into the, into the, you know, above the frame of the Jeep here. So these two I just had tied together with a piece of hose. And that piece of hose is our problem. This is the guy that came off the Jeep. And boy, if you can see, if I can get it to... I had two hands. Flex that, Kyle. Yeah, look how brittle and cracked and nasty that thing is. Where it was turned on both, both sides. And then this had fuel in it too. So, new piece of hose, couple of new clamps. Put her back on there, get that tank back up. That's gonna be fun, because that thing's so full that it's had uh, fuel coming out of the filler neck holes so that was there's, my fault I actually well, kind of nudged it when I was trying to pull the hose off but stuff happens no big deal but that's how full that tank is is what I'm trying to tell people because there's it's a 33 gallon tank I'll bet there's 30 gallons there so that's a heavy tank right now so getting it back in is not going to be a lot of fun but that's on Man, the to-do list this here clamps. so toast yeah that clamps toast we got two new ones here so let's get going on that before it gets too hot on us Okay, we've got it back up in there. We're just uh, zip tying a few lines and wires up out of the way that we cut to drop things down. And uh, we'll I have her. Around that too, get it up out. Yeah, of you might as well get all three of them there. So that's a big old tank. That job would have been a nightmare on a floor jack, but this transmission jack here makes it an easy an easy job that transmission jack has definitely paid for itself in spades on the jobs that we've done with it and fuel tank jobs are just some of the many this fuel tank in this scrambler is enormous it's an aero tank 33 gallon replacement tank for the scrambler and it has an onboard or a inboard fuel pump for my four liter engine so that's gonna wrap it up for that guy today we're gonna put some zip ties on this thing and drive it I'm sure it's gonna be fine we're not gonna smell a thing because that's all we saw so that's got to fix it right let's hope <laughs> we'll let you know if things change but until then thanks for watching <laughs>